Hello, viewers. I'm on Ealing Road in Wembley, just on my way to the Trader Centre. I just saw this van, and so, um, being English and uh, not Muslim, I know that a lot of people uh, do worry when they see this kind of large Islamic writing on a black background, and so I thought I'd make a quick video just to say to you, please don't worry. You always have me. I will always explain this kind of stuff to you always so you can rely on me if you have any questions anyone can always contact me so let me just explain to you what it says uh, I'll, I'll first i'll just explain it in arabic and then i'll explain the translation uh, in english and of course you know we've got a clue here because they've written some, uh, sort of a, uh, an english translation underneath so let me just explain to you okay so um it's in here in there there actually should be a little mark there in that which means indeed we Inna lillahi, lillahi, uh, we belong to God. Inna lillahi, wa, wa, which means and. Inna, um, indeed we. Ilayhi, 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 um, um, uh, uh, go towards, to, 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 going towards him. Ilayhi, ra, 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 ra. We will return to God. So, indeed, we come from God, and to Him we will return. And and that's all it's saying. And there's a bit of a translation here. Indeed, we come from Allah, and to Him we shall return. And that tells you the chapter, chapter two, which is the longest chapter of the Quran, verse 156, which is what this verse is. This chapter actually has quite a lot of very famous verses uh, that do lift people's uh, spirits in a time of uh, sadness. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to make videos about Don't Be Sad, one of my favorite books, which is a book of Islamic philosophy. So I'm going to make some TikToks about that. So, uh, so uh, that's what this is. Um, and um, the reason why they've written this is because this is actually a hearse. I know it looks unusual to us. We have uh, windows on the side of a hearse. But this company has bought a van, and this is to carry the deceased, and so they've written this uh, Quranic verse to lift people's spirits in a time of bereavement, to say when we die, um, we return to God, and that's why they've written this here, uh, uh, to, to comfort people uh, in this time. So that's what it means, uh, that's the English translation, and uh, so uh, if you have any questions, anyone can contact me at any time, uh, I'll always reply, um, and... Um, and uh, so, yeah, we're, we're all brothers, and it's good to, to, uh, to learn Arabic. It takes a long time, but, you, but it's, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. I have no background in languages. Uh, my degree was in engineering, so, <laughs> so if I can do it, you can do it. And this is what it means, and it's calligraphized, so it's more difficult to read. Um, but, but eventually you, you, come to, you get to grips with the uh, calligraphizing of the, uh, of the Arabic language, uh, which is what people do. In the Quran, it's just written nice and neatly along, but on the side of vans and on walls and in rest, uh, uh, shops and in people's homes, you'll see it stylized, which is the tradition. So it makes it more difficult, but uh, there it is.